At the end of June, I paid a visit to Cimarron Correctional Facility, a small privately owned prison located just south of Cushing, Oklahoma, in Payne County. Cimarron is owned by Corrections Corporation of America, or CCA, a large company that contracts with the Oklahoma Department of Corrections, as well as many other corrections departments across the United States, to provide care for America's many inmates. Recently, two Mother Jones journalists named Shane Bauer and James West published articles on the Mother Jones website as the conclusion of an investigative report they did into America's private prison systems. While Bauer worked undercover as a guard at a CCA-owned facility in Louisiana, West investigated from the outside. One night, as he was driving away from the prison after taking pictures from a field across the street, he was stopped by the prison's heavily armed special operations response team, as well as the local sheriff's department. They arrested him for trespassing, and also looked through his photos and videos without a warrant. West later agreed to a plea deal whereby he paid a small fine in exchange for having the charge retroactively expunged. The stories of these two men were the inspiration for my visit. No, I'm okay. Thank you, though. What? No, I'm okay. Thanks. Are you taking pictures of my place? I'm taking pictures, yeah. Don't do it. Like that? That's kind of what I mean. Because I think you're planning an escape. I'm already on the outside. I don't have anything to escape from. Nothing? Nothing? No. You want to talk to me? What do you want to talk about? I'll just ask, I'll ask why you're taking pictures of the facility. A little, I guess you could call it an investigative report kind of thing. Okay. Are you with the media or? Not exactly. Not exactly? Okay. Well, it just makes people nervous when there's people out here taking pictures of the facility. That's, especially in the prison, they were kind of suspicious about Okay. It. Well, he told me he thought I was planning an escape, and I told him I'm already out here. I have nothing to escape from. He told me he thought I was planning an escape, and I said, I'm already out here. I have nothing to escape from. Uh, well, like I said, it just makes people nervous when folks are out here photographing the facility. Okay. Try to make contact with you and see what was okay. up. I'd rather just assume something. We just thought we'd come and ask you directly. Okay. Well, that's fair. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just out here to take pictures. That's all. Do you live around here? Or? Uh, I'd rather not answer any personal questions. I'm just... I guess I guess you call it independent journalism. Okay. All right. I mean, is that is that okay? Well, if you're making a documentary, you know, hey, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Like I said, we just we just were asked to come out here and see what was going on, and that's the only reason we're here. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. You're in the public roadway. Okay. Yeah, I called Payne County first just to make sure that there was an easement here that I could use, okay. and they said like 33 feet in from the center of the road. Which seems like it should go pretty much up to the fence, so. Okay. That's why they're here. Okay. They just assume the worst. It's okay. against you. It's anybody who comes out taking pictures is in rare circumstances you want to document for something. Mm -hmm. On other occasions people are actually trying to plan the worst. Okay. And so that's why. Yeah. I'm not here to do anything to the prison, I'm just here to take pictures. Okay. You didn't ask me to leave, you asked me to stop taking pictures, and I wasn't done yet, so I kept going. I'd like for you just to leave, but you have no real business here, right? I told you, my business is to be here to take pictures. When I feel like I'm finished with what I'm doing, I'd be more than happy to leave.
I'm out here to take pictures. I said I'm doing I'm doing a sort of investigative report. Are you? Yes. I'd rather not give that information out. Not until the report comes out. Um, can I get names and badge numbers from you guys real quick? Uh, no thanks. It's a fair trade, bud. Except I don't have a policy that obligates me to give my name to a, a, a to a member of the public when asked. That's fine. I'll get you a card. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Is that a card that I get to have? Yes. Thank you. However, because we're investigating suspicious activity, we actually do have to get your information. Now, if we were just making a contact with you on just a random event, but because we're, suspe we're, we're investigating suspicious activity, we have to get your information. If it's just a, your name... Do you have a badge number or is it just a, just, is it just a name? Nine. Nine? Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to stick that in here. Is that a cover? Okay. All right. But we just need your name and a contact number for you because we have a question. What would you have questions about just for me taking pictures? Just, just anything comes up, that's all. What's your first name? I'd rather not get my name. We're investigating suspicious activity. We have to know your name. You don't need to know my name. I'm not doing anything illegal as far as I know. You're going to be placed into investigative detention unless you... You're going to detain me for taking pictures? No, we're investigating suspicious activity. They have, okay. a, they have a legitimate concern right now. Okay. Now, I told them exactly what I'm doing. I said, I'm just here to take pictures. I don't fine. have any ill will against the prison. You satisfied them. You haven't satisfied our investigation. Well, that's unfortunate. That's not my problem. You're going to get detained if you don't give us your name and information. I guess if you choose to detain me, there's nothing I can do about it. Is it okay if I put my phone in my pocket, or yep. what do you want? Okay. Can anybody call and substantiate while you're here? At this point, I'm going to raise my silence. Do you have any weapons on you? At this point, I'm not going to answer any questions. Okay, if you have weapons on you, you need to tell me. Is it okay if I sit on my knees? I don't care if you want to give. Just get comfortable. I don't suppose you've got a business card I could have? I don't suppose you've got a business card I could have? Okay. Do you have a name you're willing to give out? Chief Cox. Okay. Is that like right below Warden, kind of? Okay. This is a private facility, right? Are you still commissioned as law enforcement with the Department of Corrections? He's not even. He's not under arrest. Is he is he commissioned law enforcement with the Department of Corrections, no even though it's a private prison? I have no idea. Oh, okay. That's not my business to know that. Well, as you know, law enforcement, I thought you might know. I have no idea. Okay. You can ask him, though. I, I did ask him. He left. <laughs> Maybe you can answer this question. How come Cushing Police is responding and not like Payne County Sheriff's Office? Because we were asked to by the Payne County Sheriff's Department. Oh, they called you guys? Yes, sir. Okay. Why did, since this is county right away, why did they not come out? Because they didn't have anybody available and were going to mutual aid. Okay. Are they, is it like a really tiny Sheriff's Department then? Oh, they just, they just didn't have it's anybody? It's just not very close to Stillwater. Oh, so they don't have like satellite offices outside of Stillwater? They don't have satellite offices. They have deputies and stuff that, you know, patrol, but I mean, so they come all the way out from Stillwater to patrol this area? That's a that's a long way out. It is a long to go. way. It's a big county. It's yeah. uh, you know you got Stillwater and Cushing and Lincoln, uh, Ripley, Perkins. It's a pretty good size pretty good size county. Yeah, I basically had to walk all the way out here because Cushing is so tiny it doesn't even have like a taxi service or Uber or anything yeah. to get out here. It was it was not pleasant.
more comfortable if you want. You can stand up and come over there and just kind of sit on the front of my car. Oh, that'd, be that'd be nice, yeah. Okay. I can gank it up, I'm fine. Can I cross? Okay. Where do you want me to stand just, exactly? Just kind of stand right here? Do you guys not have body cameras or dashboard cameras? He does in this car. In this car? Oh, in his car. You have a camera on. Yeah. It'd be nice if there was one on both sides. But, I mean, I know there's a lot of other smallish police departments that don't have them either. Like your little camera thing right there. Thanks. I like it too. Does it hold a lot of uh, data? I mean, I would think some of them like that would go forever, nearly on end. And now that you get like micro cards that have like 80 gig, you think that keep going forever as long. Probably it'll outlast the battery. <laughs> if you put a really big SD card in it, it'll go for oh, it a long it period of time. Oh, it take the little bitty ones. I figured it take the little. It take it. I mean, it takes a micro SD card. I mean, oh, one okay. with a lot of space on it. Right. I don't know how, I mean, they're, those are really small. I don't know how big they make those as far as storage. Uh, I would think Barnes or... Here's the other one. Are you not wearing a vest or is yours just underneath? What? Are you not wearing a vest or is yours just underneath? underneath? Okay. So he does have a dashboard camera? Is it, you know if it's going? Okay. 
I mean, is it is it your policy to turn them on when you contact somebody? No. You don't have to use them at all, necessarily? I don't know. I don't really know that policy to state it to you right now. Okay. Do you know why he gets one and you don't, since you're both Cushing Police? It's a small department. We don't, I mean, we have them in the cars that we can afford to put them in. Okay. Well, some is better than none, I guess. Do you guys know that guy in the blue shirt? Is he with the prison or is he with the county sheriff? What exactly is going on right now? Because you guys have said I'm detained, obviously I'm cuffed, but you don't seem to be actually investigating anything. Well, I can tell you this right now. He's my supervisor and he is actually investigating, so I'm just standing here on his behalf as his backup, okay? Okay. I mean, he's he's not really doing anything. He's just making phone calls. Do you know what the phone calls are about? Investigating, sir. 
Do you know what exactly he's investigating? Am I talking on the phone? No, but you're his partner. I'm, you should know I'm what right he's doing. I'm right here and having the same conversation me and you. I have no idea what he's saying. All right. Just in case you come back. that way. Yeah, it looks that way. It's just what we need. It's more humidity. Oh, man. All the cool air is nice. Yeah, all the cool air follows. That would be nice. It's not too bad right now for mid-late evening in the summer. No, he said he had no idea what was going on. I tried to ask him some questions, and he okay. acted like they were stupid. If if you're here because you're doing something for journalists, you know, documentation, there's nothing wrong. But when he asked you to leave, you said no. And when we ask you your information just so we can get out of here, that's all it is. We just want to know who it is we're talking about. That way, in case something comes up, hey, we got a documentation. Hey, we talked to this guy on this day. That's all it is. But refusals and stuff like that, when we're investigating a legitimate concern, it, in our line of work, that, that's bad. That's not good. That's bad information. That, that tells us that maybe he's just putting on the front that he's here, out here for journalist stuff. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I understand the words that you are saying, yes. Okay. Let me, let me put it to this way. If, if, if I came out here and had a camera and I said, okay, I'm, I'm documenting for this company or I'm documenting for a company or, or just for myself because I'm wanting to make something. Okay, that's fine. Do you not recall me saying I was doing independent journalism? Yes, I do. That is for myself by definition. Correct. But anybody could say that. Unless you can verify that's what's going on, you could be putting on a front for potential escape. Low chance, but we don't take risks. Does that make sense? I don't think that the information you want is information you're entitled to from someone who's just standing on a county right away taking pictures. 
I don't think he's hearing what I'm trying to say. But that's okay. I just want to make sure you're aware of what it is with, uh, from our perspective. I understand that you want the information. No. There should be no problem with me saying I don't feel like giving it out. Unless I'm here to investigate a little bit legitimate concern. And I told you exactly what I was doing. I said I'm here to take pictures. I said I'm doing independent journalism. That should have been the end of it. True. It shouldn't be. But that yeah, should have been the end of it. Mm, from your perspective, yes. I'm just I'm just telling you from the way, the way we were trained, okay? Do you guys have a supervisor I can talk to? Like, do you have it's, one? It's me. I know. Do you have one I can talk to? He's not on duty right now. Okay. I'm the one you're talking to. Is there a Is name or a number that I can call when I get out of here? How's it going? It was better about 20 minutes ago. Okay. So what, tell me what you're up to. Anything that needs to be known, I've already told them. Okay, well, you haven't told me, so I'm going to ask you. I said I'm out here taking pictures. Okay, what are you specifically taking pictures of? I said I'm doing sort of independent journalism. Okay. And, and beyond that, beyond that, that's all the information that I'm comfortable giving out at this right. time. What are you investigating? From this point, I'd prefer to remain silent. I've already gone over this several times with them and now with you. I'm aware of that. Okay. Well, you know this is a secure facility. I have not been on their property. Okay. Where have you been? On the county easement. Okay. I called Payne County. They told me they own 33 feet from the center of the road in both directions. Okay. I have not gone anywhere near that distance. Okay. Where are you coming from? I'd rather not answer any more questions. You're what? I'd rather not answer any more questions. As soon as I'm free to go, uncuff me and let me go. Okay. Well, do you understand why we're talking to you, though? I understand why you're talking to me. I don't understand why I'm detained in a cuffs. Man, so here's the deal. It, it's a prison. We have people throw packages all the time. Okay? You have people what? We have, throw, we have people throw packages all the time. We're out here all the time. People, Drugs, weapons, you people name all it. in black. It. People throw around. packages where? Over, over the fences. The fences of the prison. They can get them over that giant fence that's like 40 feet in? Yeah. You ever I see can throw a football one from here. players chuck a football? It's not that hard. Yeah. If I handed you any a baseball right now, do you think you could hit the building? I don't Pretty know. Good well, chance. that that if part of the bet building. Money yeah. on it, he could have bet you. <laughs> How so, much money? See, that's what I'm saying. That's the issue. Okay, it's only a security issue. It's you know, people. Every single time we come out here, somebody's throwing a package. Here's okay. the thing. Have you're you found right. any packages? You know what? You're right. You don't have to give us any information that you don't want to. But I've taken your photo. He wants to take a photo. So in case something does come up, we can say we did everything we could to talk to this guy, but he still had rights that we had to abide by. You understand that? Well, it's good that you came to that conclusion finally. No, I, w I was I was holding you here until he got a chance to take a picture. It's we we have jurisdiction of the prison just as much as he has jurisdiction of the property out the roadway. So if we can't get something from you, there's things that we can do. Take your picture. I want him to get that opportunity. As soon as we've got that, we're going to let you get out of here. Okay. But I, now, I would probably now that you've got it. Does that mean I'm free to go? As soon as he gets your photograph. He oh, just you took got one. It? Yeah. yeah. All right, stand up, turn around. There you go. Thanks. Do you have a business card I can have? No. Name and badge number? Westbrook. 
Westbrook. Badge number? 407. Okay, thank you. Do you have any questions? Um, I'd still, I'd still like the name and number of your supervisor if I can get that. He's on vacation, but it's Piatt, P-I-A-T-T, -T, okay. badge number six. Okay, so Sorry. if I call Cushing Police Department, they can put me in touch with him? Probably not. Not, right not like right weeks, this second, but, but yeah. at some point. Yep, that's correct. Okay. Do you have our phone number? It's on the card. Yeah, I got okay. cards from both of you guys. I think. Yeah. Any other questions? No, that's it. I'm going to go back to taking pictures now. Is it okay if I reach my pocket? No, I'm not being detained, so I can do what I want. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. If you want to, if you want to tell them, I didn't really get any pictures of that side over there, so I'm going to walk down the street that way and take pictures of the other side of the prison over there. Just so they know where I'm going to be.